Good day, and thank you for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're heading back to Node Buster to continue the playthrough that we started in the last video. And as you can see here, we have made some progress in the skill tree, and uh, the game now, compared to the very start, is almost unrecognizable in terms of firepower, and you know, we're shooting at these little pulse bolts out of our node and everything like that, so certainly making progress. I do have quite a few bits here, and I think I am saving up for another level of infesting, potentially. And I'd also like to really focus on these bolts that I'm shooting out, because they just multiply my damage, really. I could even give it a cheeky level there right now. I might do that. And let's just breach and get into it. So we've beaten a couple of bosses, so we are up to Prestige 3. And let's see what that looks like again. I'll try not to hit the explosive one just until we get a few more blocks in the vicinity so we can get a bit of a combo going. I mean, just look at the number of bits these are dropping compared to the early game. It's just totally different. And that's part of the, the progression, I suppose, and the incremental nature of the game. And uh, if you didn't catch my first video, or you're not familiar with the game, I will leave a link to this in the description as well. This is just a really chill, stylish, uh, incremental game where basically you are the cursor, you automatically fire and damage these nodes that come in, and your mission is to destroy them. Uh, you have a progress bar down the bottom, and if you survive to the end, a boss arrives and you have to de defeat him. Basically, as you go, your health depletes, and as you kill, your experience grows. You collect these bits and other bits of currency, which you then spend here on the skill tree. So I do have a few blue nodes. What can I spend those on? Purples. One more, I can get more damage, that would be good. So the whole point, I guess, is survival, because we'll just go ahead and breach again. When you're in a session, you'll see my health is at 146 up here in the corner. And over time, that will go down. I think when there's more enemies on the screen, and as I fire, it drains the health. And especially when there's either, you know, lots and lots of enemies. Oh, I just leveled up. Or when there's a boss on the screen. And you'll see my health is now depleting slowly. I do have some perks that will help me regenerate that to increase my survivability and again the mission is to get your progress bar all the way to the end because that's when the boss comes in and when you defeat that boss you go up a prestige level so just in case you weren't aware of how this worked so I've run out of health but for that run that session I did get quite a few uh, valuable currencies here especially this one from leveling up so we can go see what we can spend that on so I did get enough of these blue nodes that I can increase my damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we do have this SP. Exploder explosion size could be good. The exploders are the round nodes that uh, explode in area of effect damage when I destroy them. They are quite useful. First strike. I don't have too many SP options here. Maybe I should save it. Maybe I will. I'm going to uh, unlock infesting. That will increase the spawn rate of nodes by 100%. More nodes means more kills. More kills means more bits. More bits means more upgrades. Lots of exploding ones here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So again, if you weren't familiar with this or you didn't catch my last video, this this game is like a few dollars on Steam. It's certainly under five dollars. And uh, if you're just looking for something to chill out with, maybe you know a good second monitor game. It's something you can have on in the background or have on while you've got a video playing in the background or something like that while you're watching the the latest faintly saintly entry. 
very good like that. It's I love the style, like the CRT retro graphics, and also the, the music is just incredible. I love it. Can't really afford much at this point. So I might just... I really want to invest in pickup range. I don't see that being too useful at this stage. Double resource drops. 10% chance. May as well. So I've just had a bit of a grind at this stage. Um, just need to play a few sessions, earn as many bits as we can that'll facilitate the upgrades that'll let us reach the boss and eventually defeat it. Now it'd be time to blow this guy up. There we go. Love it. I want to target these blue ones as well. Maybe I should invest in that pickup range. It might make me need to uh, wiggle my mouse around like this so often. Watching back the first video, I did find that a bit distracting. My mouse was just swinging around half the time, just trying to pick up all these bits. It's not too expensive. Maybe I will. That's about all I can afford. Single out these blue ones just because those resources are a bit rarer. Getting a few this run though, which is a good thing. Maybe I shouldn't be stubborn, maybe I should upgrade the explosion radius. They do seem to be very useful. Let's have a look at some of my survival abilities and see how we can increase these. I reckon I can afford to, yeah, upgrade my armor. Just again. Restore 1% health per second. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Productive level there. I haven't done so much with my attack, but buffed my armor, buffed my regen, which should see me coming pretty close to the end of the uh, pro progression bar and summoning the boss. Whether I have any hope of defeating him is another issue, but uh, you know, we know if we make it to the boss, we're making progress. And that's what this game is all about. How's my health look? I'm not taking too much damage yet, which is good. Which means that armor is doing its job. But the real test is about to start. Yeah, look at the health go down when that boss arrives. It absolutely drained me. But that's fine. I do want armor, but I still do want... Oh, potency takes the blue nodes. Got two levels of that. That'll really bolster my damage. Hold damage as well. Let's do it. And I can still get a nice armor upgrade. Let's look at these milestones. So I've claimed the first three, and these are basically just little challenges. And when you unlock them, they have rewards associated with them. So I need to destroy 100 blue enemies to unlock this one. I've got 37. This one's close, 70%. But uh, that's all I've got at this stage. Let's just get back into it. And that's another reason why you don't want to let the blue ones get away when they appear, because they are rarer. You don't only get the valuable currency for them. You do get, you know, obviously progression on those milestones. And they are a nice bonus too, because you get like, what was it, a hundred 
blue cores or something for that one milestone in one go. Which is handy for a, a rare resource. And that means you can instantly unlock a few upgrades you wouldn't have been able to afford otherwise. Which is always a welcome thing. Boss is here already. Smash me, got him a bit further this time. Not quite halfway, about a third maybe. Didn't see any blues that round. Two percent armor per enemy, I think that that's going to be scaling quite well, especially with the amount of enemies we're having on screen. But yeah, you, you probably walk away from the first video that I did of this and thought, okay, yep, I've seen enough. Um, but if you're like me, like I've been thinking about this game, ever since I made that video thinking, yeah, I really want a, a chance to get back to it and, and record another one because as simple as it is, that just nails the, the satisfaction levels. It's just, it just feels really good to play. And hopefully it's good to watch as well. Boss is here already. I'm surviving a little bit better now. Might get it done. Nice. Session terminated. 404 boss defeated. Prestige 4 unlocked. All it took was that armor upgrade that did wonders. But the exciting thing is we've got a purple core, which is a rare one from the boss. We could spend that in a number of ways. Plus two pulse bolts per attack. Uh, restores half a health when picking up resources. Interesting. 50% attack size is also pretty interesting. I'm going all in on the attack size this round. Unlock the crypto mine tab. What is that? Something to save my blue nodes for anyway. Do I want to increase the exploder area size now or do I want to save this SP? Or I could use it on bolts. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, I think. So now my target reticle there is uh, massive. Well, we've got some new little nodes here, these little pill-shaped ones, little capsules. I wonder what their deal is. Well, I leveled up and took another SP straight away anyway, so I don't mind spending that last one. I could probably do it again. But I think I'm going to do this. Explode a size. I mean, can't go wrong. Uh, what else was I going to spend on? Critical hit chance. First strike. Increase the damage of the bolts. So I'm shooting them out in a star pattern now, and they're all doing a lot more damage. The only issue with that is it's going to be a lot harder to make sure these explosive round nodes uh, survive until they're in a good position, because I'll probably inadvertently hit them with a with a bolt. I'm not even going to pause to upgrade that time. I'm just going to keep firing away. 
building experience, getting bits, and saving up for some more potent upgrades. I'm not surviving very long at all now. I mean, when you go up a prestige, it just scales ridiculously. And there's a blue one. That's what I want to see. Especially if I want to unlock that crypto tree, whatever, whatever that was. So that must be a new upgrade path or a new resource path. Let's go home and see what I can spend. What was that? The crypto mine. So I want to avoid spending any more blues until I unlock that, I think. But I definitely want armor. Surviving a little bit better now. Still, let's know what the stories of these capture ones. Maybe it's just their movement patterns that's different. They don't seem to do anything else differently. Um, I'll just keep building on that armor, I think. I think my attack power isn't too bad. shooting all these bolts. Where are we? More than halfway now. There's a blue one. Must get. Let's go straight into a new session, I think. Since I upgraded those explosive ones, I feel like I'm not seeing them quite as often anymore. It could just be a bias, though. Certainly not seeing them as much as I'd like to. Oh, there's a blue. Very nice. you to spend now. More damage to pulse bolts or oh that's tempting, but no I want to save. I want to save those. Give me the pulse bolts, give me more armor. Very nice. So I wonder what that uh, crypto thing will actually do. I feel like it will unlock a new currency, just like the blue one or the purple ones. Something a bit different to the bits. And hopefully unlock a lot of new exciting upgrades as well. I'll just keep buffing up these bolts. They're doing wonderful crowd control for me. How close are we getting to the boss here? I'm more than halfway. About three quarters, still at full health. Or thereabouts. I want to get this blue one, there we go. So I'm very nearly there. Actually, I think I will reach the boss this time. Oh no, something just got me good. Spoke a bit too soon, but that's okay. 
just gonna keep building up that armor. So that, that might even be enough for me to reach it now. Nice, got another blue one. Last halfway mark. So about now is generally where it's hit the fan for me. Okay, I've held off. I'm alive. Now the boss is here though. Very close to leveling up again. I'm gonna do one more session, I might try and get that level. While I'm here. So I can't remember if there was any upgrades that are available for another level up. Oh, two blues. I suppose there was the uh, extra bolt. That's probably a good thing. Or is this the level up point that I save now for future upgrades? They are fairly rare. Well, you don't get level ups, you know, quite often. It takes every... Uh, at this point in the game, it's about every 10 sessions or so seems to get me a level up. I'm going to finish this one with a bit more than 10%, so... Maybe that is changing. Let's have a look. That's probably not a bad idea either, actually. More damage per enemy in area. Mm, yeah, I think I will. I'll, I'll get another bolt. Which will be nice. Max out those two armors. We've got another one here with plus five. Anti-purple, 25% armor against bosses. That's very tempting. Still hoping to hold out for the crypto mine though, so I don't want to touch those blue nodes. Shooting uh, six bolts out now in a in a nice star pattern. Wonder if I'm almost at the point where I could nearly idle it, leave my cursor in the middle of the screen, let the bolts do all the hard work. Definitely have to upgrade my uh, magnetism to increase my pickup range, though, I think. Otherwise, all these bits will just go to waste. Keep these blue ones coming. Thank you. Uh, good little session for the blues. I've only got eight to go before I can unlock this. So I'll just focus on damage per enemy in area, damage to bosses. Because survival is one thing, but you know, doing damage is also important. Because if you're not doing damage, your survival means nothing. You gotta be able to take the damage, but you gotta kill the enemies before they get you, basically, as well. So there is a balance. A couple more blues, which is awesome. Very excited to unlock that new thing. Another blue.
Eight. Oh, that might be enough. We've got it. Fifty blues. And actually, just to top that off, we've destroyed four thousand red enemies, so I can get five thousand bits. Wonderful. So plenty of cash to splash here. I am going to unlock the crypto mine. Process acquisition, chance for yellow enemies to spawn. 0, 0.0 out of 0 0.1. This is like an investment simulator. The conversion rate of bits to netcoin is 0. 0.0001. I've deposited nothing, I've returned nothing. Oh boy. Upgrade speeds increase with these yellow resources. All right. Uh, you know what? I got I got a bunch for free then. Going all in. I put seven thousand in. Um, and I've got a potential fraction of a net coin <laughs> coming back my way. Uh, hopefully that'll just sit there and run in the background while I'm doing this. God, the possibilities of that and just the thought of the, the scope of that is um, hurting my brain a little bit. So you're investing these bits now for basically time and fractions of a new currency. So they haven't really introduced time as a mechanic until now in terms of, you know, waiting to generate resources. So that's an interesting new little concept to play with. And I suppose you need to consider as well, do you want to invest strongly in that or do you still want to save your bits and buy your upgrades? As with everything else, I'm sure there's a balance. Let's just check in, I got 0.04. I need 0.01 to unlock that, which will unlock yellow enemies. So I do think that should be my priority. So I'm just going to keep chugging away with that. Because the sooner I unlock yellow enemies, the sooner they appear, the sooner I can harvest them. And then we'll see what they actually unlock for me. Hopefully some nice, powerful upgrades to take this scaling to a, a new level. Okay, here comes the boss. I tempted to spend my blues on this one armor against bosses seems like a no-brainer and a bit of damage as well doesn't hurt oh, I'm very close to point one so I've still got 8,000 sitting there so I suppose I don't need to stack up any more on that right now that's gonna last 26 minutes so I should be comfortable to spend what I've got now because this is not going to run out any time in the immediate future. And that means a bit of super armor. That means quite a lot of super armor, actually. We've got our point one. Processor acquisition. Yellow enemies can now spawn. Let's hope we find some.
good news is I uh, just uh, considerably improved my armor as well, so I should hopefully last long enough to see these yellow ones come along. Nice little chain reaction there. So I'm assuming yellows must be quite rare. Considering blues were the rare ones and I've already seen about five of them this this round and haven't seen a single yellow. But I suppose it is all chance as well. Oh, I got close. Not quite there yet. I am going to get more boss armor. More super armor. And more boss damage, why not? So I'm not far off getting him. Then I'll go up another prestige level. Have another purple... Uh, purple core to spend. And I'm still holding out hope on finding a yellow somewhere. Because I really want to know what direction they take with it. And that could unlock any kinds of upgrades. The, uh, the crypto thing proved that the game still has some surprises. It's not just a simple, uh, you know, point and click upgrade your damage, point and click upgrade your survivability. It's, um, you know, they're not afraid to go in new directions and keep things interesting, which I appreciate. Going to get him? Oh, just a sliver of health left. But I did level up. Could spend that, but I am going to save it. All right. This time I think we are certainties. I've upgraded my armor again in general and specifically for the bosses. And I've increased my damage to bosses and considering how close we got. No doubt in my mind. Oh, a yellow. Finally. Wasn't much fanfare, was there? Makes me think I need to invest more in the perk that has a chance to double all resource drops. Because when you're coming across these yellows and blues, and they're pretty rare, that'll just increase your chance of, you know, getting a lot more in one go. Maybe I wasn't overconfident here. I don't know. Done. Prestige 5 unlocked. We also have a yellow. does what? Oh, hang on. Are they purely for this? Extra processes they are. Okay. So they're purely for the uh, the crypto. And I've just doubled the production. Holy moly. Okay. All right, then. Prestige up, we've got an SP, we've got a purple as well. Crits, double resource drops. Well, I think the smart thing, two extra bolts per attack. 
100% damage to bot pulse bolts if I have 0.2 crypto. Interesting. Uh, I'm also going to grab that one and that one. So in an instant, my bolts are doing extra damage and I'm shooting three more of them. Which we'd love to see. Ooh, we have a, a pentagon type enemy here. And it splits into lots of little ones. It's interesting. The enemies are certainly tougher in this one. Take the damage. There's a crypto mine looking. We've got 10 minutes worth left. Obviously, they're being consumed twice as fast after our upgrade. So much going on. Yellow. Oh no, I missed it. That's disappointing. Give me the armor. Armor is good. Silly. Going straight for the explosive with nothing around it. Fingers crossed to get more yellows after I missed that last one. those blues as well. There's our mine looking. Still got a bit of time left. <laughs> Cheap and cheerful armor. Not going to say no. What was I what was I gonna invest in? Oh, it was the uh, chance to double drops. Must remember to do that. Might make things a bit more successful quicker. Here's our boss. Where was that upgrade? It was down here. 10% chance for double drops. I've got some blues I can spend as well. Potency. Boss armor. Oh, we've hit the milestone as well. Destroyed 100 blue enemies. Oh, no, we haven't. What did it say I had? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm only, I've only got 83 there. Destroy 6,000 red enemies. I've got that. Gives me 10,000.
Double the spawn rate again. Get some plundering. Maybe I should... Max health. I'll pop the rest in the mine, just to keep that afloat. I'm seeing how rare these yellow ones are now, and I'm really, really annoyed that I missed that one, because I feel like it's, uh, they're going to be few and far between. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Maybe if I just keep talking about them, they'll keep showing up. I don't mind being proven instantly wrong in that instance, that's for sure. But to level up that chance for double drops. I think I leveled that up, what, twice just now? So that would be, what, 10% each time. Could be like one in three. Enemy kills will drop double now. Something to that effect. You know, yeah, that's a pretty good haul for one run. Doubled again. Excellent, we're getting 20 a second. Now what else was I investing in? I need 10,000 for that double again. Oh, I don't even have this basic spawn rate upgraded. Whoops. Let's just smash the spawn rate, shall we? Why don't I have any of these? I think I've just somehow forgotten they existed. Okay, might as well go back and clean up some of these early upgrades that I've just completely bypassed. They're not going to be world beaters on their own, but they are relatively cheap at this point in the game, so why not? They all count, especially when I have other skills that uh, you know increase by percentage. So even if they're only a, a little increase to the base stat, you know they'll exponentially grow. Certainly worth doing. Don't know how I lived without these bolts. Doing excellent work. Level up, lovely. Surviving. Ooh. Not quite. 45 blues that turn. And an SP. Pulse bolts explode when they expire. Wow, that's probably going to be well worth saving up for. Exploded radius. Boss armor I will grab. Potency I will grab. 25 damage in one go. That's pretty good. Uh, I am going to get the extra pulse bolt, I think. Nice. That's pretty good, actually. I think a lot of my survivability that run was purely just from these, which would give me health back for hitting and killing enemies, which obviously now I'm doing a lot better than I was early game. Lots of armor. I think we're going to be a lot stronger this this wave, that's for sure. Did 
Let's keep those yellow ones coming. I want to see more of those. Actually, I suppose if you get too many of them too early, you're going to be spending your bits on crypto faster than you can bring them in. As with everything else, you need to think of your balance, I guess. So close. Just gonna shoot these ones to regen. Got him. Good haul. Another purple now. Hundred percent attack size. I mean, that's tempting. Might not have any better options, to be honest. I'll do it. Ten percent chance to automatically collect enemy drops. Okay, now we're getting crazy. Now we're getting a bit crazy. There we go, we've got our 100 blue enemies as well, so I'll absolutely take that. I'm gonna put... Oh, we're out of these, righto, so I need to keep an eye on that for sure. 145 blues, we'll be gonna spend it on damage. Maybe save the rest. Oh, there's another purple, whoops. Because that takes 300, this over here is taking 300. So I'll save the rest. Yellow. Wow, died instantly. <laughs> Shows what a difference a one prestige level makes, holy moly. fire a few sessions. This isn't even going to be enough to feed the crypto miner, I imagine, at this rate. The hard part is you need to hit enemies to regen health, and at the start there's just not that many to hit. Make it to this stage a little bit better off. Damn. May as well. So that's exponential growth as well. That's doubling every time, which is crazy. I've just bought myself another minute. It's a real struggle to survive at the start. You're just not hitting enough enemies to absorb their health. Not too bad now. At this point, it's just survival, just getting what you can get. And then uh, it's really back to the incremental growth. What can I actually spend these crypto on again? I've got this one, which needs 0.2, which I'm not far off. It's 
probably about it. I think I'm just going to load up on some armor. Hopefully get a few more seconds of life. Oh my god. luck and strategy involved there. You've got to have enough at the start to keep you sustained and you've got to just aim for them. Damn it, I got greedy, went for the blue. So these pentagons are pretty good because they explode into a bunch of little ones and it looks like they give me extra hits. So they count towards my regen. And help me just get past that first little hurdle. I really want to go for that blue. I'm going to just try and play it safe. Make sure my shots are hitting as many things as possible. <laughs> Jeez. So I am going to... Aim for the infesting spawn right there, just to... Actually... I'm going to grab that as well. More damage means more qu kills quicker, which means hopefully more regen. But I am just going to aim for that spawn rate thing. That means that they get more enemies quicker more targets, more sources for regen as well. That's my theory anyway. What am I getting a rapid fire? A uh, rate of fire increase, I should say. I feel like I haven't upgraded that in a long time. Don't get greedy for the blue. I might have a little bit. That's okay. We should have enough now to increase the spawn rate. 400% spawn rate. I can afford that now, can I? Holy moly, that could be huge. So in that one turn, we've increased our spawn rate by 100 and then 400%. And it shows. Going a bit nicer. Oh, is this blue one split into lots of little blue ones? Oh, damn, that could have been awesome. I'll just replay. I think what I'm going to want to do is go look for the skills that uh, increase my regen for hitting and killing enemies and try and buff those a bit further if I can as well. I keep seeing the experience bar in the top left and thinking there's a yellow one and panicking that I'm going to miss it. Okay, we've made it to the boss. Just. These are all maxed out. 
That might be a valuable one. Restore health when picking up resources. Increase max health. Increase percentage per second regen. So they kind of stack. I'm going to just load up on a bit of armor again. And put 5k back in the mine. We have... What do we have? Point 0.1. What do we need over here? Point 0.2. Okay. I really want to save up some of these blues, but 25 damage is tempting. No, I'll, I'll hold off. Just for a little while. I'm going to level up again very shortly. I don't know if I actually have anything in the skill tree that I can unlock with that level, though. I suppose we'll find out very shortly. This extra health seems to be doing a good job for me. And the percentage regen is also quite good. That killed me very quickly. All right, let's see if I've got an SP to spend somewhere. Crypto. Don't think I, oh, hang on. I oh, explode area, yeah, I guess. Maybe we should just do it. It might actually unlock. Oh, I can get that as well. Oh. Actually, I think I have to. And yeah, stuff it. I was going to do that. I thought it might unlock another tree, but that's fine. And I'm just going to load up into the crypto machine. It's another 400% increase in swarm size. So now I am never short of a target. <laughs> Not by a long shot. I was going to say, I haven't seen a yellow in a while, but I'm really not getting ahead in uh, crypto production anyway. It just means things not dying. So tempting. What am I saving for? Pulse balls explode. That could be really good. Automatic collection could be really good, but I think that makes sense. A hundred damage. Get a drone. What the? A drone that occasionally attacks nearby enemies. Net blade. Got to do it. 100 damage, that's huge. Give me a critical hit chance. Give me first strike damage. Give me last strike damage, I guess. And the rest will invest. Ah, oh, yes, we're back to the. Uh, Super satisfying glory days of one hit kills. Not a hundred percent consistent after all, but still to a satisfying degree. And 
feels incredible. Just absolutely decimating these hordes. Holy moly. A handy little 11,000 from that run. Another milestone. Destroy 8,000 red enemies, get 12,000 bits. I like that. I can get another 100 damage as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the drone. Auto pulse and movement speed. Attack size. Critical hit. Damage, damage, damage. Fifty percent chance for double resource resource drops. Um, a few more levels of armor. Invest the rest. Oh, that's our drone, the blue thing. Okay, that's uh, interesting. It's going to be really hard to tell, but I'll be interested to see whether his attacks count towards my regen for hitting enemies. And also what sort of damage he does. Seems to be semi-decent. Oh, I wonder if there's an upgrade that'll let him pick up resources for me. Thousand. I keep going to shoot him. Lots of blues so far, which is nice. When I unlock the ability for my projectiles to explode. That's just going to be chaos, isn't it? Constant explosions all over the screen. And at this rate, that's not going to be too far off. What does leveling that up do? Give me two. Drones, maybe. These take lots of blues, though. I don't want to spend the blues. Give me some armor. Give me some max health. 300 max health for a chunk of crypto. 300 is huge. All right, just one. Invest the rest. 1200 health now. Another level up as well, which is nice. Getting all these blues. Everyone gets us one step closer to exploding projectiles. Which I suppose in theory is not going to be all that useful. It's just going to look really cool. <laughs> Holy moly. Got him. Very nice. We got point one of a crypto. 133 blue, 16,000 red.
and a purple. What can I spend that on? Uh, bigger attack size. I'm going to max this out. See what it unlocks. 50% armor when attacking 8 or less enemies. When will that ever happen? 200 armor. Armor equal to 1% of max health. Jeez. 400% spawn rate again. Can I get that just to see what it unlocks? Okay, more boss damage. Crits. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I was hoping that would unlock a new tree. Interesting. Well, this game continues to surprise. I've just looked at the clock and realized I've been at this for over an hour now. <laughs> so I think this is a good chance to call this time for a break. Uh, thank you again for watching. If you're liking this series, please let me know and I'll continue to make them. The first one would seem to be well received, but uh, we'll see what the interest level is like if I turn this into a little series, a full playthrough. Obviously, we've seen a lot of new stuff in this episode. And uh, looks like there's going to be plenty more new stuff to come. So thank you again for joining me. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and will keep you in the loop when new videos drop. I do cover lots of other indie games as well. So stick around if that's the kind of thing you like to see. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.